Welcome back. The next modules are going to guide you through overcoming your camera shyness. In this lesson, my goal is to coach you through what has kept you from getting on camera, either in the past or in the present. And I want to talk about some of those fears and doubts that you may have with the intention of just acknowledging them at this point. And then later, taking the steps to tackle them when that time is right. Before feeling confident and comfortable on camera, we we have to reflect on what it is that is actually making us uncomfortable in the first place. So the first step to fixing anything is being aware. If you have a journal, notebook, it would be good to write out any thoughts that come to mind to record this somewhere for your reference. I like to use my voice memos and record audio. You can journal, write digital notes, record a video, whatever feels right to you. So let's talk about what that discomfort actually looks like. I talked about how it feels weird talking on camera. It could be that. It just feels unnatural sometimes. Nothing compares to that face-to-face -face conversation, and I get that. Or do you just not like the way that you look? And there's no shame here either. This is real life stuff. And as a brand photographer and just as a woman in general, I know what this feels like too. Maybe you gained a little weight or you lost a little weight and you think that you need to have a fresh beat or you need to have your hair done every time you get on camera. And if that is the case, these are very valid feelings. You should at least acknowledge them right now. Or is it that you just don't know what in the world you're doing and you need a little bit more practice you need to get a little bit more acquainted with the settings on your phone or your camera if you have one so you just avoid it all together and you think that you need to be a pro because you see other people that are killing it with their content and you think it has to look like theirs or is it that you might be your toughest critic do you critique yourself a little too much and bring Bring your own confidence levels down? Do you hinder your process by wanting everything to be perfect before you even start? Or are you that person that is just stuck in your comfort zone? You don't want to do anything different. You stick to what you know and you rarely try new things. If you resonate with any of these, record them down. Or if you feel comfortable sharing in the community, let us know here. Then take a moment to to reflect on if these beliefs or thoughts are causing you to not have the results or the life that you really desire. If you know sharing yourself in this way will open more doors for you, what are the consequences of you not getting on camera and not sharing yourself, telling your story, finding your tribe, getting more sales, whatever it is that you desire? Which situation would you rather take a chance on. Think about that. Needless to say, all of these things are valid, but hopefully you consider opening up yourself to something different and stepping out of your comfort zone here and there. It definitely is a process, so don't force it, but challenge yourself. More than likely, whatever you learn from these experiences and challenging yourself, even if you fail, been there, done that. But guess what? I give myself right back up and push through. You want to push through to grow and to boost your confidence as you learn from these experiences and you master them. So I'm hoping that this will encourage you to walk into the unknown, go into that unfamiliar territory, and be willing to explore the potential rewards that can come with this. And I hope that this also made you reflect and be more aware of some of those beliefs fears, and doubts that you have. There is an exercise later in the module in the confidence booster exercises that will further guide you through these reflections. If you want to dig a little deeper, go into the fear and doubt exploration session and check that out in the next module. Take your time when you're ready, check out the next lesson, and take the next step to building that confidence and getting on camera.